Well, this little girl just got her freedom today. This is her first time ever seeing the the sky or the grass or anything. She, that's why she's having a good look around. All egg laying hens, yearly they're culled. After about a year, their production rate would go down about 10%, which if we had these little girls in our garden, we might be, they might lay six eggs a week instead of seven. Um, but for a farmer, obviously with a, an awful lot of hens, the production rate goes down by 10%. There's a couple of very nice farmers who work with us and they um, they don't like to see their hens going to slaughter so they ask us to try and find homes for them and we've been doing it for 11 years now. I suppose what I get from them all is just, you know, a better realisation of uh, what it is I'm looking at in the supermarket when I go in there. Um, I now know where most of the eggs come from in there and I know that it's not cruelty free what I'm buying and that really informs the choices that you make. When they go into the cages uh, so young um, and so vulnerable they are what's called de-beaked but in fact it's, it's a snipping of the beaks. They say it's so that they don't um, fight or do damage to other hens that they're squashing the cages with but in fact all that it does is deform um, the beak and it makes it very hard for some of them to eat. So I find for the first week they'll do nothing but eat and then they may not lay for a week or two and then they'll come back laying when they, when they pick themselves up a bit. But that's what I love about them is seeing the progression in them. They're really timid when they arrive because they've never lived outside. So, you know, they, they stay in the coop and you see their little heads poking out. And then, you know, after a few days, they start to sort of venture outside and peck around in the garden. And then, yeah, it's just, it's like watching them re-emerge, I suppose. Uh, we got three. And why? Um, it's just to give them a chance of a better life. You know, they've had a miserable existence up to now. Well, like, we tend to go for kind of themes when we get sort of batches of hens. So, um... Yeah, we were thinking of naming them after um, Dairy Girls. I think it's going to be a good experience for them and for me to, to be able to see that I can help. I'd like to hope eventually that people will see the, the dangers of intensive farming to their health and how horrendous, horrendous it is to squash any being into a cage in their thousands. When you see the people arrive and with their boxes and the excitement that they have and to know that these little hens are going to such a better life, um, it's, it's wonderful, honestly, it's food for the soul.